we're going to have something new. And thanks for coming early. Thank you. So, go for it. Well, during the political campaign that was going on, we had been in here and then we found out that you guys made a new rule. So we said, you know what, we're going to work on that. And unfortunately, it took us a couple of months over here. Now, Annie and I are not here from the community board. We're not here from the community council. We're here as individuals of the community. We want to see this place thrive. And without a roof, obviously, we're going to have all sorts of grief. We would probably give you about $12,000. Annie, stand up here with you, will you? No. I know you have to say, at least let them see your face. <laughs> Annie is amazing with social media. So she's our social media maven. So she agreed to set up the GoFundMe page. We don't think $12,000 is an unreasonable goal. We think that's something that can do relatively easy and with a fair amount of experience. So what we'll need from the Legion Hall is they're okay to go ahead and do it. Uh, are they a 501c3 here? No, I'm not sure. Say that again. Are you a faculty of that organization? Uh, I believe so. Not a profit organization? Sure. So we want to be able to tell people that like they're tax exempt donations. If in fact you want, we'll take that information. Uh, as far as the funding base, you guys don't know how that works. I don't know that. Where do they send checks in? <coughs> no, no. <coughs> How do you do it? Excuse me. Um, I don't want to get you. Everything's online. Yeah. Credit cards. Yeah. 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 Meanwhile, we want everybody to reach out and say, hey, we set this up. Yeah. You know, put it out everywhere. Yes. I, uh, I'm Cecilia Ray. I am actually a union carpenter from New York City District Council Carpenters, yeah. and we do volunteer projects. So I'm pretty sure they would love to help out in this. All we need to do is provide materials, we'll provide labor. Oh, so we'll get information there. So you work for the city? Well, not the city. Yeah, I'm a union partner. Our commander is a competent for the city also. So I'm going to... We're going to have a city. Awesome. But anyway, so that's basically the plan. How fast can we get a little money to make it going? That's easy. All I need is an okay from the command here. Well, if I'm not the commander, I'm the vice commander, so okay. I can't okay anything without discussing it with okay. them. Why don't you introduce them on the way out, because they got to go, I think, Mike, kind of sort of? Yeah. Then he has to go, but I'll stick around. Why don't you introduce them to Owen on the way out, so they can go do it? Yeah. So if you're ready, we'll go, we'll go do that right now and get started. Exactly. Right. Very good. And then we'll give everybody the information on, once it's set up, where to go, to make donations, and to send your friends and family, and workers, and Employers and everybody you know in the sun to say go donate. Whether it's ten dollars, fifty dollars, hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, whatever. Okay, whatever you do. Twelve thousand is not a big number to raise. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't see why we can't do that. I want to set a goal within a month. Is that doable, Lane? I'll start you off with five hundred. Is that doable, Lane? I, 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 uh, I think we can do it. So that's the goal I want to set. Very cool. So if you want to introduce us now, we'll get started. No way, Apple. Okay, you ready? Yeah. We'll go right now. Alright. Come on, let's go. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. 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 Well, I see we got a lot of new faces here tonight, so if we can go around the room real quick. Irene. Irene, what else? Community board Ted? Second level. Everyone, real quick. I'm uh, Joseph Ronda, Marine veteran, currently serving in the New York Guard. And I'm also the director of the Star of the Sea Secret Corps at Holy Family. Mm -hmm. yeah. How are you doing? I'm, I'm Bob Hickey. I'm a boundary veteran. Um, just coming here to check out what's going on with uh, the Who's going to mention 
I'm Sal Lusso, and actually I'm with Community Board 11, but you know, we're all in the same city. This is how I feel, you know what I mean? And we should know what's going on with other members. Be familiar faces. Put a name to the face and a face to the name. Mm -hmm. Right? Jeremy runs your show? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Thanks, Tony. Ephraim Gonzalez III. I am a uh, veteran from the Army, and I'm a member of Sam Young Post, and I also am a delegate for 1199. I work at Montefiore. Mm. I'm not standing up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Grace Lovaglio. I live in the CB11 uh, district, and um, like Sal, I like to get around and, and see what's going on in the rest of the neighborhood. So we can, uh, I mean, I'm on Facebook with most everybody anyway, so it's finally, it's nice to put a, a face to the name. My name is Javier Castro, Army um, ROTC, and New York Guard, for six years. And Tony, I have two announcements. Do I do that now or do I do that later? You have the floor. I, I have two announcements. Do I do it later or do that? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do uh, announcements in a few minutes. Okay. I just want to real quick, I'm going to say hi. I know Bob, uh, Rob Arborelli, uh, Esquire, and you're from? Hi, I'm from Lucky Beauty Board 10, and it's probably the top one, it's okay. And you see characters behind you. You forgot Marjorie. Oh. It's okay, I'm sure. So I'm just playing as well. Hi, everyone. Marjorie Velasquez, and you did Board 10. Nice to meet you. All right. Julian Mishersky, 40 years and counting on a planning board. <laughs> Second Army Division, Fort Hood, Texas, a bit about, about a million years ago. Wow. <laughs> we got Joe, we got Metro Mets here. Joe in the house? So that's him. That's, that's, that's number one selfish office. Number one selfish office. Right, tell him. I'm also Julian Mishersky. He's driving him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we can get New York Metro Vets. Uh, uh, Joe Bello, I am the Bronx rep for the uh, New York City Veterans Advisory Board, and I'm also on the board of directors of the Fisher House being built at the uh, Bronx VA Hospital. Okay. Keep Rivera, Department of Veterans Affairs, uh, Vet Center, Regional Program, uh, Bronx, and Queens. Hi, I'm Alan Gottlieb. I live in Edgewater Park. I am part of the Bronx County Board for the Green Party. I'm here with Deborah, which will speak for us all. I'm Deborah Rosario. I live in Community Board 10, and um, I'm also part of the Green Party. Great, great. Thanks for coming. Guys? Uh, my name is Delvin Sanchez. I'm a uh, community liaison for the Office of the Assembly of Brian Bono. This is great. I'm Steve Camilo, I'm a Soviet Army veteran, and I also work with uh, Assemblyman Brian Barlow and I'm a district third as well. Thank you, sir. Hi, my name is Eva Hines. Um, I'm a New York Army National Guard veteran. I uh, represent uh, Veteran Voices News Center. I live in Community Board 7. Yes, and I'm here because I'm getting more involved in community. So. That's great, thank you. <laughs> I'm Norman Smith, Vietnam era veteran of the Marine Corps. I've been coming to the seven. And like my associate here, I'm the president of Veteran Voice Newsletter. And curious, they got a hold of me, and I'm here to see the end of it. <laughs> Carlos Menes, I live in Community Board 11 in Morris Park. Um, I thought about this meeting for the community board, and right now I'm now in my one of my 18th years in the Army Reserve. Okay. And you remember post 19, right? Yes. Great. Hi, I'm Sue McBrillen, a six year Navy veteran. Um, I live in community board 10, and Tony, we're about to be coming from here. My phone number, what's up with you? Oh, uh, Again, I'm, I'm Cecilia Baez Raymond. Um, I am an Army uh, Reserve Veteran, uh, 1995 to 2003. Um, I'm resting my head in Kingsbridge right now and uh, looking to settle down in the Bronx, possibly in my home, for me and my family. Uh, uh, they, in my union, they express, you know, be part of the community board, 
you know, get to know, you know, what's going on, what projects are coming up. So, um, even though I'm not part of the community board, I, I've attended some meetings, but I like to get more involved. And, um, like I said, we, we do a lot of uh, volunteer events. So, uh, uh, also, I'm part of the Latino Club for the Carpenters and part of a member of the New York City Veterans Alliance. So, they help write policies for veterans. So, to yeah, we, we, to we, found that, um, we found that it's, it's a great resource that um, the guys can come and fix something and they get their credit for it, they get their check off on their on their own and they get their union card and all that stuff. We've done it with the cards and quick layers and things like that. Thanks. I'm sorry, you need Want to jump Carlton like that? Yeah. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Jason Francis, Vice Commander of the Coney Club, Theodore. And I am uh, Alex in resident and candidate for the 18th December district. And Alex and No longer, I resigned from it, but I am the founder of the Alex oh, International yeah. Merchants Association. Yeah. 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 Uh, Carl to me, he, I'm not a veteran, sorry. Uh, just get so little support from my financial defenses. I'd uh, like to hear all of those stories. That's great. Thank you. Ronnie Woods, I know I got on the veteran. Usually, just to let you guys know, usually we have meetings, the uh, community board has their meetings at the board, board office. There's like eight chairs, ten chairs. Um, I feel here we have a, we wouldn't fit in the board office tonight. Number one, just thank you so much. Uh, number two, maybe we can have some fun afterwards. So, um, thanks for coming by. And I guess we can go around and do, because I know some guys have some projects they want to speak about. Um, mind if I start with one real quick? Let me start with one real quick. Because oh, yeah. I want to give you guys most of the time. I want to get this out of the way. We have found this out. The American Legion Department of New York doesn't, doesn't support a lot of stuff. They don't do anything about lawyers. Okay? And um, but this. I have a couple more left over there. This is a, it's called Reconsolidating Traumatic Memory. And what happens is, when you go to the VA hospital, they got a plus or minus 35% success rate using drugs. Okay, and as you know, from what, the other things that happen in our community, when you drink or you do drugs, and they you to wake up and you're still there. Okay, um, plus or minus 35% with drugs, not very good. Plus, they give you a nice big bottle, so if you want to kill you something, kill yourself. Mm -hmm. Uh, this Dr. Frank Bork, we, RTM, Reconsolidating Traumatic Memory. I have to simplify it for you because I'm not a psychiatrist. But 90% success rate without drugs after four, five, six visits. Wow. And basically, what they're doing is they teach you to retrain your brain. Mm -hmm. So if you see, um, you know, so if you see a fire engine, you don't say 9/11, the building's collapsing, all the crap. You see a fire engine, you say, "Wow, the good guys." And they teach you how to do that. Uh, one guy who presented at uh, the American Legion Conference in Albany, um, he was in the 64 earthquake in Alaska. Wow. 1964 earthquake in Alaska. It was 9.9 on the Richter scale, which is the same thing as an atom bomb. Mm -hmm. you know, not the radiation. So, I mean, he saw like school buses getting crushed. It was horrible. And he had a whole life of fighting, uh, drinking, fighting, punching the boss, punching the just a total, a total mess. And he went for this. Because it's not down here yet. Hopefully, it'll get down here to the Bronx. Um, it's not down here yet, but it, 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 it's hope. It's not a cure. There's no such thing as a cure. And they take the, t the D off disorder, post traumatic stress disorder. This is not a disorder. It's the real thing. If you see something that happened to you and you see it again, it, it's, it's normal. So I'll leave these pamphlets out here. It's not down here yet, like I say, but please pass this around. Google it. Who knew what Google it? Google it, search it, it may be very helpful to something that you know. Okay. Um, okay, I just want to get that out with you guys because it's very important. Um, you know, a lot of our guys, right? What happens to a lot of our guys? Drinks, drugs, and other things. Right. So I have a few more of these left. These guys. Okay. So, um, just walking in the room, we have a few of them from. Uh, and I'm going to go out of order because he just came in, but I know you have something to report to about. We well, have several things to report about. We were, we were speaking at the, the Bronx VA. We we're so fortunate to have VA in the Bronx. Um, we have a problem with the golf carts. 
Hmm. Um, we have a problem with parking because of Fisher Houses, which is the work. If you guys don't know, the Fisher Houses, uh, the Bronx Bay Hospitals, and this is Joe's project, one of the and you know Peter, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, there's no place to stay. If you have to stay with somebody, a loved one, or what do they charge? Two, three hundred dollars a night? Mm -hmm. Fisher House is like a Motel 6 where you can stay you know, on, the, on the grounds because they're doing kidney transplants at the VA hospital. Hopefully it'll be the regional, am I correct? It, it, is, the, it is the regional kidney transplant location. I mean, you got the guys going to the hallway with, with the thing, you know, <clears throat> serious stuff. So um, that's why Fisher House is there because the Fisher family is in the Bronx. They give us two houses. So that will do good, except it kind of ruined all the park. Oh, yeah. Kind of ruined all the park. Now, the VA cops are not going to give out tickets, but they kind of ruined all the park. And then that brings us back to the golf carts, which we're going to talk about, which is a problem. And I'll be quiet and let Pete say something, and then Joe. We're together, because you guys work together on your, your VA stuff. Pete, you want to go first with the art? First off, I want to apologize for everybody for being late. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just refer to some notes. So keep it clear and concise. Um, most, of you, most of you, hopefully all of you will understand. Yeah. Uh, I actually have put this before. Uh, Meet me late. I you know, was out to dinner with my wife, which doesn't happen too often. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a priority so that that way I get to come to places like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually Legion folks, trust me. It's usually I mean, Legion it's not folks. Your life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Legion folks. Um, let me start with the most recent uh, topic of VA. Uh, a couple things. One, uh, yes, we are getting these uh, Fisher houses. Uh, we get, we're lucky enough to have Ken Fisher being the former resident of Riverdale, Bronx. So he's going to give us not one, but two Fisher houses. Each house holds approximately Let's say 10 to 15 families. Yeah. So it's like a hotel almost. Um, no, I don't recall. I, I recall some locations in the United States have received a second one because of volume, mm -hmm. but no location ever got two uh, up front. Uh, some of the problems that we're enduring the fact that uh, we are getting two up front, that we have very little Leroy. You know, they're, they're hopefully starting to build these things now when, when the weather breaks. Um, they run about $7 million each, so that's a $14 million foundation raise that we need to uh, try to come up with. Not necessarily, but we need to try to at least come up with it. Um, so we're kind of behind the curve on this one. You know, usually you have a couple of years to plan out and plan ahead, but he said no. Uh, when we applied for it last year, we were number 17 on the list. And when it, the list went to Ken Fisher, the founding uh, foundation uh, president, he looked at it and circled it, put us on number one. Mm -hmm. So we would have had 17 slots to get ready for this. Now, unfortunately, we're number one. Yes, we took away the VA took away. I'm sorry, Paul. That's all right. The VA took away the uh, parking issue. Uh, we lost 170 spots. Wow. I am also the American Legion VA VS representative at the VA hospital, so I'm speaking from a place of knowledge. Um, they took away 170 spots. We're working on trying to get, um, if you're facing the building, the VA hospital to the right, uh, there's some basketball court or something down there uh, close uh, between uh, where Sedgwick and Kingsland, <laughs> the Kingsbridge would cross in that lower portion. We're going to try to look at paving that over. The VA is going to pave that over and give back some parking spots there because nobody's really using that uh, piece of property. Um, any questions on the Fisher House to this point? Where do they go? There do they go? If you're facing the building again, I just try to orient you. If you're facing the building, it's going to go in that big empty parking lot that everybody's pissed off about. Yeah, they're going to go over there. So it would be, if you're facing the building, it would be the left. Um, next up, very last uh, item on the Fisher House. I'm leaving on Monday for Washington. And I'm meeting with the Fisher Foundation, which is located down there. Uh, and I'm going to try to come home with much more concrete timeline and, 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 and whatnot. Uh, we haven't had I think our last board meeting was in October. 
and with the uh, with the way the, the flow of information and the, and the, the amount of progress that's being done, I need to physically go down there and find out what the uh, disconnect is, and then be able to come back and report the pony and the rest of you all. Okay. All right, moving on to the next one, um, the uh, M MTA. Uh, we had a gentleman a couple months ago come to the community board, uh, Veterans Affairs Council here, and asked us to join forces uh, with him. He's a World War II veteran from uh, New York, uh, New York City, Manhattan, specifically. And what his goal is to have uh, the MTA offer a reduced fare uh, for uh, all veterans. You shut that down. Now, granted, most veterans fall under. Uh, you know, they're over 65 or they're disabled, so they automatically get in that category, mm -hmm. a half rate fare. But for the young kids that are in college, uh, myself, guys that haven't hit the age 60, um, it would be a beneficial thing to have for the young veterans coming out, especially at least a half rate fare. This does exist in Albany, New York. This does exist in Nassau County. So it's not something I'm asking that hasn't been done already. It exists in Chicago. So uh, uh, what I did was I prepared a letter and appeared before the MTA board, chaired by Chairman Joe Loda and his entire board, mm -hmm. and testified as a post commander representing 200 people for post 156 on City Island. So I did a letter, submitted it, expressed why I wanted it. Uh, my counterpart from Manhattan also presented letters, and we are appearing, like every, he's appearing every month, I'm appearing roughly every other month, uh, before the board, in the hopes that eventually they finally agree amongst themselves to say, yes, this is a group that is steadily asking for something, they're reasonable in their request, and they put us on the agenda. Once you get on the agenda, then the ball starts rolling. Then once you're on the agenda, then you can testify directly to the, even though you're in an open forum, uh, it's like somebody coming in like myself and just talking, but you then have a little more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the cloud? Thank you. A little more cloud. Um, so that's where we are. Uh, I testified, like I said, yesterday. Yesterday, I testified as a county representative. I'll very quickly read you just two paragraphs. The Bronx County Organization of American Legion represents uh, Legion Post and members in Bronx County, fully supports and endorses the request letter and actions of Leonard H. Hawkins, Post 156, for reduced fare for veterans. Mr. Peter Del Debbio, in addition to being commander of the Post, is also vice commander of the Bronx County Organization, is empowered to represent our organization in the matter of reduced fare. So in that one paragraph, I went from representing 200 people on City Island to 1,100 people in the Bronx. Uh, Bronx County met on January 3rd. Mr. Dudley came before us and presented his letter, research, and synopsis of the MTA Board of Directors meeting he attended in December. At this meeting, his uncle body voted, to, meaning we, the Legions, uh, support the reduced fare for veterans in the New York City area that many veterans uh, will qualify for reduced fare. As senior citizens, even though there are many veterans that qualify for the fair, senior citizens and disabled, as set and described with the uh, American Public Transportation Act. However, reduced fair and more for veterans would honor those who gave so much in support of their country. If a reduced fair is approved uh, by the board, is requested to take effect immediately, and locations where veterans can obtain veteran card can be established in each department. Uh, veterans would provide documentation as necessary to obtain the reduced fair card. Thank you for your consideration. Uh, signed uh, Joseph Gudner, our county adjutant, and four, Anthony Salambini, I signed it. Uh, so that's where we are on the MTA reduced fare. Uh, it's an onward process. Uh, in March 12th, I'll be up in Albany. I already have um, a seat at the table that will hopefully be able to involve some folks at the state level. I will be uh, doing a similar presentation there and uh, we'll slowly advance the, uh, the ball down the court. Uh, what am I thinking? 